Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Uh, Jeff, we were able to catch up with Tyler Kolek earlier, who uh, I think the most important part of the conversation uh, that we had was he, he pushed back a little bit on our fashion correspondent, Cam Jones, who threw him under the bus about three weeks ago. Wow. And now let me welcome on to the Field of 68 After Dark. The best point guard in America, according to Jeff Goodman, Tyler Kolek, fresh off of a 72-67 win for the Marquette Golden Eagles over Creighton. He finished with 15 points, eight assists, four boards, and three steals. Tyler, it wasn't the prettiest basketball game we've ever seen, but you guys got to go into the second half. Sean Jones, David Joplin made some big threes for you. You guys pulled out the win. How are you feeling right now? Feeling good. I mean, you know, in the Big East, every, every night's going to be a war. It's going to be a grind. Uh, so. We just got to find a way to win. And, you know, I think in the first half we were three for 20. But, you know, we played great defense and put ourselves in great position down two going into half. And, you know, in the second half, just, just playing market basketball, still defending. And, you know, we got lucky some shots fell. For us. How important was this one for you, Tyler? Because obviously against Providence, we, we know how hard a place uh, that is to win. Yeah. You know, and, and with you going back home and, and playing that way and, and kind of getting blown out, how important was this to get this win? Yeah, you know, I felt like we were in a good place going again, uh, going into the game against Georgetown, um, and then coming into this game, we we kind of wanted to stay there and stay stay where we've been. Uh, you know, we were, we were kind of rolling before that Providence game, but we've had some struggles on the road this year. You know, we've been to some tough environments: uh, Wisconsin, Providence. Uh, we did win at Illinois on the road, but uh, you know, we just got to flip our mentality at home. I think we've been really good. You know, our crowds behind us. I think. We set our attendance record today for most people ever to watch a game in Pfizer, including the Bucks. Uh, so it was, it, it's a special crowd. You know, our, our team has great energy at home. So, so we felt good today for sure. That, hey, that's, that's because you're a bigger draw than Pat Connaughton and, and Giannis. <laughs> no, nah, that's my guy. Hey, hey. he's, he's got to get out there a little more. I got to talk to the coach. Uh, I mentioned Sean Jones earlier. He had a couple big threes in the second half. He was three for five today. Uh, he came in four for 28 on the season from three. How important is it for him to be able to knock down shots when teams are daring him to shoot? Yeah, he's kind of in a similar spot that I was in my first year when I came here, uh, you know, really working hard, working working on my three ball, and and it's, it's going in practice. It's going when I'm working out, and it's just not going in the games. And, you know, I think – I've been really having great conversation with him, just telling him to keep trusting and keep trusting and it'll come. And, you know, he's huge for us because he's so fast and, and teams got to stag off him because they, they can't keep him in front. So him making a couple of threes, that's huge for his confidence, for sure. Tyler, how, how important has it been for you? Because everybody kind of looks at your numbers now and they're like, all right, he, he does everything, but he could score more if he wants to. How How has that been this year? compared to even last year in terms of trying to involve your teammates even more, trying to make sure that, again, a Sean Jones is making shots and playing with confidence, you know, also playing with confidence. Every, I mean, you're playing that two-man game with them all the time. I think I think it's just natural. I mean, the way that we play is, you know, I think this year I'm, I'm doing a better job of picking my spots, you know, whether it be post-ups or, or, you know, in the pick and roll being more aggressive or, just off the catch and shoots, I could, I could definitely be more aggressive off those. But, you know, just just picking my my personal spots because, you know, I'm going to play the game. I'm going to get those other guys involved. They're going to get their shots off of me. So, you know, I, I feel like I, I've taken that next step and really, you know, trying to control all aspects and not just focusing on getting those guys involved, but focusing on kind of getting myself going too. I think it's fair to say that you guys did not play anything close to your A game tonight, especially in the first half. Uh, also struggled. Cam Jones didn't really get it going. Um but you were still able to come out and get a win over one of the probably three or four teams that you're going to be competing for Big East championships with. What does that say about this group that you have? Yeah, I think we can win in a variety of different ways. Uh, you know, a lot of questions coming into the year about our defense. Uh, you know, we lost Omax Prosper. It was who's going to fill that role, who, who, who can step up and, and be that defender. Um, you know, but we got guys, We, you know, myself included, Cam Jones included, you know, we aren't regarded as, you know, defensive minded guys just because, you know, on the other end, we, we are what we are. So, but, you know, we, we really try our ass off and we play hard, you know, all those guys empower us to, to really play hard. And, and I think me and him have just taken the next step of, of really 
taking pride down on that end. And, and that turns everybody else up. When they see us in a stance really wanting to guard, then they really want to guard because that, that's really their main role. Hey, what, I think without a doubt, hold on, talking. hold on, Goodman. I got to follow up on that. You mentioned yourself in the defensive stance. Is uh, the Shaka still have the best defensive stance? I just team? saw that clip of him sliding on the sideline. Hey, <laughs> six man of the year de- defending. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hey, what what were you talking shit to Kalkbrenner before you went to the line at the end? What did you no, say to him? I was, I was talking to uh, to to Shire, man. We were just friendly banter. I was telling he he told me to miss one. And I said fifty forty ninety. I can't do that. Uh, no, you cannot. All right, so, hey, Cam Jones killed both of us. He killed me a lot worse than he killed you when he came on here, his debut for our fashion correspondent, right? So I stepped up my game here. I, I know you didn't have time to step up your game, but he 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 honestly divulged a huge secret about you that I don't know if you really want it out there. Um, do you want to address this? Cam Jones throwing you under the bus – uh, for 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 what you wear uh, underneath your shorts during games, we're addressing my fit. But do you just have the top, or is it the full suit? No, I got sweatpants on. I, <laughs> I got sweats on. <laughs> you're, you're cheating. You're cheating yourself. Yes. But, but no, he. Uh, that, that's my guy. I mean, I, I, he's he was wearing something today. I said it in the guards in the guards huddle. We huddled after. I said. I said, if we look, if we play as good as Cam looks today, then we'll be all right. <laughs> but he had some, some uh, like button up on it, it was some fur. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not as into fashion as he is, but he did expose me a little bit. That's my little secret. Uh, you know, all the guys in the locker room, even even at my old school, they all say the same thing. Like, how, how do you even do that? But it's just, it's, it's freeing. You know, it, it feels good. Freeing. It's free. I love it. I love it. Listen, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, happy holidays. Happy New Year. Tell your family I said the same. And uh, listen, from now on, play play like the number one point guard the whole game, not just for 20 minutes next time, all right? <laughs> I got you. I'll pick it up for you next time. Jesus, <laughs> that was Tyler Kolek, uh, first-team All-American point, point guard. Jeff Goodman's favorite point guard in uh, in in college basketball, I think, at this point, uh, who is defending the fact that he wears the. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Henson. We were making fun of him because Cam Jones outed him for wearing just the Hanes boxers when he plays basketball. He's not wearing the compression shorts, not wearing the boxer briefs, just straight up Hanes boxers when he plays basketball, which is a wild, wild thing. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.